was important to write this paper? Well, ISO 26000 has really made quite a big impression on the world of standards and in the world of sustainability and corporate responsibility as well. Um, and ISO standards can have a big impact if you think about ISO 14001. It is used by hundreds of thousands of companies worldwide. Um, and of course, uh, ISO 26000 is squarely addressing the issues of sustainability and sustainable development. Therefore, I thought it was important to try and understand the kind of impact that it was having or could have. And how can you assess the impact of a standard like ISO 26000? Well, it, it's hard. It, it's hard because it's not a standard like ISO 14001, which has, it, it is a certifiable standard, so there are very clear criteria for whether or not someone is actually using it in a, in a formal sense. That's not the case with ISO 26000. It's a guidance standard, um, but it can still have a lot of influence. It um, has already influenced the debate about what it is, what it is legitimate um, to consider as, uh, as part of sustainable development. It has meant a much broader range of issues um, and substantive issues like human rights as well as the environment um, and, and many others are, are all now considered to be part of sustainable development. It has also influenced a number of very significant institutions, um, for example the European Community whose new definition of CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility, um, has been revised and the new one looks awfully like ISO 26000's definition of social responsibility. Uh, and even ISO itself um, is now rethinking the way it approaches all its standards, and there are a great many of them, um, to consider whether or not um, sustainability issues are properly integrated within them. And then of course um, it's, it can make a difference through how companies actually use it, uh, which is perhaps the key. What are the main pathways for its influence? Well, it, one, as I, as I said, is through um, organisations, um, through the, the actual use which uh, organisations of all sorts make of it, because it is not just um, applicable to companies, it's also applicable to uh, every kind of organisation. Um, and as I said, it has reset the agenda, which is very important. And how are companies using it? Is there any evidence of impact? Well, companies are certainly uh, looking at it. Uh, one, I think, of the most common uh, ways of using it is to review their existing practice against what's suggested in the guidance standard uh, and to look for gaps, hopefully. Um, there's also quite a lot of use which is unacknowledged, so you can clearly see its influence in some, say, sustainability reports because of the way they're structured. Um, but what is very hard is to know how much difference, um, how much uh, good practice there is as a direct result of the standard. Um, on the other hand, you need to remember that it's actually, although the standard came out um, over a year ago, it's actually very relatively early days. Um, and I can only think that its influence will grow over time. Thank you. And do you think it will make a real positive difference to sustainable development? Well, I hope so. I hope so. It is squarely aimed at that, um, uh, at those issues. Um, it is being taken very seriously. Um, and e even if it does no more than to legitimise um, the full scope of issues relevant to sustainable development, it will have made a significant difference.